Hi everyone. So I want to talk a little bit today about life transitions. So in the last couple of weeks, a lot of you have come in and talked about um, lots of things going on, new changes, changes at work, changes in job schedules, uh, lots of people in school with a lot of life transitions that are happening, job relocations, life relocations, relationships, lots of things that can be um, uncertain and a little bit off-putting. So if you're someone who likes to have routine and structure and know exactly what's going on, and now you have this change that's coming where the, you know there's lots of holes and, and pieces of the puzzle not, not filled in, it can be really stressful and it can bring up a lot of anxiety. And we've been talking about it in sessions, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about stepping out of the circle. So life is gonna bring you stress. Nothing, the only thing that is definitely certain in life is that there's change. And a lot of us don't like change. A lot of us don't do well with change. And a lot of us don't, you know, we expect others to be doing things the same way that we would be. So the first thing that I wanna tell you is stop expecting you from other people. You have to learn to go with the flow a little bit. And we also have to learn to be a little bit patient. So we have to, we have to focus on stepping out of the box and stepping into the unknown and sitting with that for just a little bit. So there's actually this uh, study that they showed with ants, and I just talked about ants in my last video, but um, they put ants in a, in, in, they drew a circle and put the ants inside the circle. Okay, and for whatever reason, the ant will not go past the circle. It'll stay in the amount of space that it was given over and over and over and over again. So point being that if we make a box or a circle and put ourselves in it, we're gonna stay there, okay? And that's not what we are looking to do. We're looking to step out of the box, step over the line and try and challenge ourselves and, and, and greet the discomfort, which is really hard to do. So one of the things that I want you to focus on is present moment awareness. So when we've been talking about these life transitions, everyone is saying like, oh my God, what's gonna happen to me in five or 10 years? Like, or is this gonna be the job I'm gonna be in forever? I'm gonna live in this certain place for the next 20 years. And we're skipping over what's going on right now. So that's a practice to pull yourself back and stay in the present moment. And the best thing that you can do throughout the day when those thoughts hit you to regulate your nervous system is a breath work. So you know we practice breath work a lot, but I'm just gonna give you one little tip. Um, you, might, you all know it, if you have your squares, you know that I'm a big fan of square breathing which is a practice that comes from the Navy SEALs. So if you have a square, use it, okay? Four by four breaths, four counts of breath in, okay? Four counts out, four counts in, and four counts out. Nice and slowly, diaphragmatic breathing. When you get really good and comfortable with that, then you know that Navy SEAL square breathing is actually an inhale breath to the count of four, holding your breath to the count of four, and exhale breath to the count of four, and holding your breath to the count of four. Okay, when you're panicked and you feel anxious, holding your breath is not gonna work, but if you can practice that diaphragmatic breathing, the hold will actually help you relax a little bit more. Breathe, if you don't have a square, it doesn't matter. Find a square, there's a million squares everywhere. Okay, use your hands. You can always make a, use a, a square on your hands. You can use the fingers to do breath work and you can, you can just do it anywhere. Lots of people tell us, they actually say that they don't have enough time to breathe, which is ridiculous. If you take 10 diaphragmatic breaths in the morning and in the evening, it only takes two minutes. So practice your breath work, practice stepping out into, out of your comfort zone, and I will see you next time.